Imagine a world without refugees. It's a world with its bright lights dimmed, shutting out the transformative brilliance of Albert Einstein or Sigmund Freud or the sultry seduction of the German actress Marlene Dietrich. Without the beauty of the Sudanese model Alec Weck or the art of Anish Kapoor. A world without the music of Haiti's Wycliffe Jean, Sri Lanka's MIA or Zanzibar's Freddie Mercury. Today, we're seeing a world full of refugees in the biggest movement of people since World War II. Madeleine Albright sought refuge twice during those dark days, and to this day, she remembers the warm reception that was offered to her and her family when they were most in need. I spent the war in England uh, when the Nazis invaded Czechoslovakia. Um, they were very welcoming to refugees. And then when the communists took over in Czechoslovakia, we went to the United States. And there, of course, she went on to make history and become America's first female Secretary of State. Now, across Europe, many political leaders seem unwilling to tell the real story of what benefit this human tide could be. But their people are leading from the front. We've seen how the German government and its citizens are offering a warm welcome, including one of the country's biggest football clubs, Borussia Dortmund, which invited more than 200 refugees to a match last week. Meantime, across the water in Iceland, 12,000 nationals have begged their co country to increase the refugee cap from its paltry 50. Many Icelanders are offering rooms in their own homes. After all, who knows who could be sleeping in your guest room? The next Bob Marley, Salvador Dali or Gloria Estefan?